again viewers to my channel Fox Business. My name is Ufusu Godwin, a marketing professional and a marketing trainer. Today we're going to start a different series. Today we're going to be looking at Instagram. And this and my subsequent videos are going to be about Instagram marketing. Today we're going to be looking at Instagram marketing techniques for every business, especially for small businesses. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscribe button and subscribe if you have not commented comment and then share so you can help the channel to grow now let's look at some of the techniques that businesses can use on Instagram to grow their business and as a matter of fact achieve their objectives as a business having presence on Instagram is very important so now let's look at the first thing the first thing that you need to ensure to ensure success of your business Instagram marketing effort is to ensure that one you your profile is a business profile you can convert your personal profile into a business or a professional profile make sure that all required information are entered including your website your phone number everything this will show up in your bio it is very important to do this it is important as a matter of fact to ensure that all this information are accurate don't forget to keep or put your company logo as your profile picture if you don't have a logo a small business have a logo you can put some of your products in the profile picture but I would suggest you do a logo or I suggest you have your business name in the form of a logo in your profile this makes it very professional and ensure that the previous social media identity happens to be the same unless maybe you're running different businesses don't forget to also verify your account this this is actually for advanced users of Instagram if you're an advanced user of Instagram then try verifying your account uh, to ensure that your account shows credible to businesses or to customers out there the next thing to do is to plan your content content is key I will advise you do a mixture of contents photos and graphics as well as videos short videos as well two minutes or a minute video will do a minute video showcasing your product or teaching your clients or your potential customers how to do something or how to use your product right this is also very very good and it's very helpful now the videos as a matter of fact should be clear and uh, should possible have some editing and some effects there are a lot of video editing apps on the internet that you can download from any of the either play store or the apple store right now ensure that you add a call to action to every particular content that you produce out there what i mean by call to action is either a, a phone number an email address etc right also in your content you can ask the your community or your followers to go to your bios and click on your website to get traffic to your website don't put your link in the caption in your post caption instagram actually does not really take that that much and as a matter of fact it is not the best way to do it the best practice is you refer them to go to your bio to click on your website so that they can connect to your website so that is why I said that you should keep all information intact in your profile including your web your, your the link to your website as well as a matter of fact okay you can also show uh, content with your prices run sales promotions run contest competitions and raffle draw and as a matter of fact but do not be too salesy what I mean by being so salesy is that every time talking about selling your product you can also publish information 
on industry trends within the industry. Let's say if you are in the fashion industry, post articles from credible sources, right? Quotes, wise sayings, and as a matter of fact, even fun videos, I mean, funny stories, etc., just to make your page active and not boring. If you are to B2B, articles and publications within your industry would also not be very bad. It would be very good for that. As a matter of fact, you should also know when to post. If you are posting once a month, then you are missing out. And if you are not posting consistently, you should know that you are also missing out. You have to be consistent when it comes to social media. At least twice a day will do. I recommend twice a day. One in your main feed post and then one in your story or in your reel. So twice a day will work very nicely. An interesting story can also get you more likes and sometimes even get you followers. The reason why you have to do this is that you need to keep reminding customers. In marketing communication, we have what you call the drip method. The drip method. The R stands for what? Remind. The R in the drip stands for remind. That's D-R-I-P. The D is differentiate and the R is to remind. The I is to inform and then the P is to persuade. So every time, make sure that your content follows the drip methodology or the drip principle of marketing communications. The reason why the R is there is that customers need to be reminded because they are being bombarded by thousands of messages every day. Thousands and hundreds of thousands of messages every day. And you need to remind them. So posting one in your feed and then one in your story or in your reel is a good way of trying to remind your customers about your brand and then your products. Right. It is very important. You can use feeds, you can use stories, right? And you can also use the reel, you can post in the reel. Videos or photos, right? There's also another important tool here, which is the IGTV, right? The IGTV is some form of like, it's just like YouTube. I don't know whether they want to compete YouTube or what. You can get the I, I, IGTV app as well. So you can download the IGTV app. I think this is something to, com uh, to compete with YouTube and uh, maybe Facebook videos. But I think it's a great thing and it's a great tool. A lot of people don't take very much cognizance of it. As of the last time I checked, it was only 10 million people around the world that has downloaded the IGTV app. I think this app will also be very helpful for your business. Right. It's good for sharing videos, longer videos, rather than the short videos that you find on the main Instagram app. Right. So you can put all this together to make your content very solid and to also have a consistent message across. Don't put your link in your post. Some time back, we heard of stories around 2021 that Instagram does not allow links in posts unless you have more than 10K followers. But even whether it's true or not, the best practice is to refer the follower to go to your bios and click on your site. Another thing here too is that look out through your post and see which post actually did well. Look at the post that actually did well and look out for what you did that makes the post had a lot of comments likes etc look out for times to post for me feed takes the, the real post takes a long time right so you can post that in the morning and then your stories you know stories last for only 24 hours so your story could be at before lunch let's say 11 30 11 45 or 10 o'clock, 10.30, so that when people are active, by the time people go for lunch, your stories are there for people to watch them, right? In the evening, once people have closed and they are preparing to go, or maybe relaxing to beat time, to beat traffic, etc., or relaxing in a pub, your stories may show, right? 
So timing is also very also look out for other posts that you have, you post and look out for the time you posted and also look at because those posts that has gotten a lot of attention could tell you that probably the time that you posted was the right time in addition to maybe the content itself. Right. So it is important to do this, right? Post consistently to retain followers. Right. The next thing to do is the use of the power of hashtags. Hashtags accompanying your post is very incredible and very helpful. Right. It is a good practice, as a matter of fact, to add hashtags. Use the appropriate hashtags. It is very important to use already existing hashtags don't use hashtags that are so irrelevant so for example in a post you can use about three hashtags one referring to your industry or the industry that you play in that is if it is fashion if it is food etc and then one also as a matter of fact referring to a national event or a national holiday or an international event or an international holiday right especially if you are doing cross-border marketing All right it is important to ensure that you use the appropriate hashtag in your advertising you can also have use hashtags for promotions when you are doing promotions don't use irrelevant hashtags don't use irrelevant hashtags. three four hashtags will do one concerning your brand one your industry one a national event or a national holiday or something that is going on around your country or internationally if you are doing cross-border marketing so that's the power of hashtags the next thing is community building community building and with community building i suggest two things if you are doing business to business you have a different approach and if you are doing business to customer that is if you are selling from yourself to individuals the approach is also different if you are selling to other companies for them to use your product to produce your product the approach is also different right build the right community in case you don't know 13 percent of your community as a matter of fact use content or produce content that people will respond to right if you are doing B2B, target businesses that need your products and services. So go following and connecting with people or accounts that need your services. For example, if you are supplying electricals, going in for electrical engineers, electrical technicians, and so on and so forth. If it is B2C, you are selling food, that one you can reach out to everyone because everyone eats food. But even with that, reach out to people that are within your vicinity because they are the people who will be buying if or within your country or within your city right so locally specific community building is also very important that is when you are doing business to customer that is when you are selling from yourself to another person but if you are selling yourself to another business it's important to get people within the industry it is very 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 important use content like i said that people will respond to ask for what we call the double tap Let's say you run a pub. You can, for example, share a content that double tap or like if you drink on Saturdays. Or double tap if you can eat a full chicken. Or double tap if you can eat this combo meal. Also request people to follow you. Ask people to follow you in some of your content. Some of your content will also be to drive community. And this can be sponsored. It's about one dollar two dollars to also get people to follow you and with that you also have the opportunity of doing proper segmentation and targeting segmentation and targeting is very important without proper segmentation and targeting you will not be able to reach out to the right audience whatever segmentation is dividing or selecting an appropriate market that needs your products and services right it could be by age by gender either female or male geographic location lifestyle interest family life cycle what i mean by family life cycle is simply the stage in which 
the person is whether he's single married married with no kid married with one kid or is an empty nester an empty nester is somebody probably whose children have grown up and have left home that is an empty nest so you need to look out to, for all these things to help you to plan very well i always talk about that digital marketing is not just it's not an it thing marketing is marketing digital marketing is purely marketing we are using the digital technologies as a platform right using it as a platform right so you need to understand marketing very well another interesting thing that you can use to build your community is the instagram direct or instagram group chat ak dma so as a matter of fact you can also do the dma or the instagram chat or the instagram direct chat right or the instagram group chat video this is a video group chat right it also works very well so for those of you doing business to business this will also be a very great way of connecting with some key people or some businesses right so you just you, you'll be able to chat between one and four people through video right it is quite simple just go to the top right corner open the chat right right and then tap or uh, just just hold on a particular chat right select the profile you dm'd right or a group chat that you had and then when you select that on the right top corner you will find the video camera app icon as a matter of fact just click on the video camera icon when you click on the video camera icon you will then be able to make videos you can add up to four people to have a video chat and this is also a great way of building a community look for business profiles in the search button using hashtags so for example hashtag godwin company you will get results related to profiles and hashtags within your locations search for specific hashtags relating to your businesses to just another way right for example hashtag electric house you will find results and images right for specific users who shared them follow these shares or follow these shares and connect with them these may be people within you so for example if you're selling electric house you go to the search button you click on search hashtags for so you go to the search button hashtag for example electric house or hashtag electric house this will result in images right that has been tagged images from specific users who shared them and you can take advantage of as a matter of fact linking up with these sharers so that's another way of building community you can also use your other social media platforms to also do that you can also share if you have contacts of some of your clients or potential clients you can share this through whatsapp and to use also use other social media platform to also build or to get people to join you and to build a community thank you very much and thank you very much once again don't forget to subscribe hit the subscribe button and watch out for my next video on this very topic thank you very much for watching